Hello friends, Oz Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Our title of today's message is When Fear Keeps Others from Their Destiny. From Acts 5.13 that says no one else dared join them even though they were highly regarded by the people. Every workday in thousands of offices across the globe, Christians testify of God's grace in their lives in some way. Sometimes it comes through a subtle performance of their duties with a smile and peace that non-believers cannot understand. In other cases, there might be more visible, unexplainable examples of God's work. This was the defining difference in believers in the early church. They lived a life that followed with signs and wonders that could not be humanly explained. The apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders among the people, and all the believers used to meet together in Solomon's colonnade. No one else dared join them, even though they were highly regarded by the people. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to their number. Acts 5, 12-14 How often we've heard non-believers acknowledge their respect for the Christian workplace believer, but they dare not join them in their persuasion. It is this fear of the unknown that keeps many a non-believer on the path to hell. Who has God placed in your path today to help detour from a path of eternal torment to a path of freedom and eternal life? The Lord desires that each should come to a knowledge of the truth so that they might be saved. As you enter the workplace today, ask the Lord for a divine appointment that might be the turning point for a lost soul. There's no prayer the Lord will delight in more than this. Have you ever been around someone who was so excited about God and you saw the activity of God in their life? And in fact, it was so aggressive that you said, I uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can go there. You know, I've been around people all over the world and some of them are really out there for Jesus. And it, it may not make me necessarily feel comfortable, but it can stretch me, you know. And it's those times that actually benefit me to stretch a little bit and to really uh, enter that experience with them. And so I want to encourage you today that you know, when we're in the marketplace, sometimes just being getting out of our comfort zone is what God is calling us to do. Uh, I remember one time I pulled into a service station or a, a, it was a dealership and I was having my car serviced and a woman expressed a uh, problem. She was uh, had a bad illness at that time. And, and I said, may I pray for you? And she said, you mean right here? I said, yeah, can I just say a quick prayer for you? And well, she was kind of taken back that I would offer to do that right there in a public place. But she let me, and um, and so I prayed for her. And it was just a very simple act. You know, there are very few people that won't allow you to pray for them. And uh, just the care behind that gesture means a lot to people. So look where God is working and join him in it. That's what Henry Blackaby said many years ago. And so we need to be aware of where God is working and then be a part of that. Let's pray. Father, I pray that uh, as we go into our day today, that you give us your Holy Spirit to be bold and available to you in all that you're doing around us and through us. And just help us to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit in encounters that we might have on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great day.